what's up everybody uh, listen today we're gonna make fake guacamole salsa I'll show you how so here are the the ingredients for the fake guacamole salsa so you have salt and that's to taste you're gonna have about four of these I washed them already make sure you take the husk off because it has stuff like that inside of it dirt and whatever so make sure you wash them, rinse them real good so they can look like that. Zucchini. Can you believe that? Zucchini or calabacitas instead of avocado. Jalapeno. Two cloves of garlic. Handful of cilantro. And that is it. But there is a trick of how to do it. So let me show you how. Okay, now I uh, here I have boiling water, right? And I'm just gonna put all the calabacitas or zucchini in there, and I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna have them cook just a little bit more than the tomatoes uh, because they cook fast, and I just want the tomatoes to uh, just turn a little more pale than what they are right here, and I'll show you how. Zucchini has been in there for about a minute Now we're putting in our tomatoes in there And we're gonna cook them for a total of five minutes or until you see that the tomatoes are pale You don't want to cook them overcook them uh, And you don't want them to uh, burst So remember that I'm putting in about two or three spoons of oil cooking oil okay you see how uh, they turn pale that's all you want I get them out of the heat <clears throat> right before they're about to burst right. and I just give that a, another minute for a total in a, of uh, five minutes Zucchini is nice and soft, but not too soft. And now we just uh, let it cool down. So now we're uh, <clears throat> we're gonna toast really quick our garlic and jalapeno I don't want these to burn I just want to cook them a little so I take these off and I just cook them just for a little bit more probably about two minutes total turn off the heat And just let it rest and let it cool down a little bit okay now the garlic goes in right now the jalapenos go in with the oil very important that you put the oil in there because that's what makes this uh, creamy the oil and I got a handful of cilantro in then we have the tomatillos and the zucchini in little bit of salt to taste 
I'll go back and taste it and see if it's salty or not. But this is it, guys. Simple, right? So now most salsas, you put uh, some kind of liquid to help you st start liquefying. But this one, you can't add water. Remember that because it's, it's going to be kind of creamy. So you got to kind of like help it and push it until it starts blending. guys our green fake guacamole salsa and now this is how it's done you see how creamy it is very silky creamy that's how you want it right it looks like guacamole right why fake guacamole I tell you why have you ever made guacamole and left it sitting for just an hour it turns brown right so the taco stands they came up with this idea the secret and uh see how green it is once they put it out it's going to stay green like this it'll never go brown but when you taste it you think you're eating guacamole and this is my go-to salsa when i go to a taco stand always so uh once you do it you'll be surprised zucchini instead of avocados yeah mm. Mm. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.